I hope you guys are ready and pumped up for my second webinar. Uh, this time it's going to be uh, a bit different, some repetitive, because uh, as people say, repetitive is what get it kicked in your head. So uh, some are repetitive, some is brand new topic. Uh, definitely, I'm going to emphasize more on the DXM products and how does DXM help in boosting our immune system. So then um, apart from um, boosting up our immune system using the XM product, I have also going to be mentioning about our enemy. What is our common enemy in this uh, pandemic situation right now? Of course, it's COVID-19, the coronavirus itself. So that is our enemy. Even before boosting up our immune system or even before going for a battle, we need to know our enemy. We need to know what are we up against. So I'm gonna go a brief uh, introduction about COVID-19, coronavirus, and how does the coronavirus attack our system, which is very important to know. It's not only how to defeat it, you also need to know how our enemy, what kind of tactic it uses to enter to our system. And of course, the Exxon product as a prevention kit, it's not cure for illness, it's more for a preventive measure, because prevention is better than cure. I'm sure that you guys are, I've heard that multiple times. And um, I also will be touching on the current situation, uh, what's happening at the current situation, what is the latest update of uh, COVID-19. Um, shall we start? Okay, so when you stop to think about how hard your immune system works for you, it is nothing short of an amazing system of God creation. It's an incredible complex system that works nonstop to protect and defend your body from infection. It is also a system that depends on good nutrients in order to function properly. As Malaysian does not experience the four seasons, residents are very fortunate. They don't have to deal with the illness that tend to come with cold weather. However, Malaysia's weather can also be tricky. It can be hot, dry, wet, and rainy. Studies have shown that heat base can reduce the body immune system or the immune response to the flu or effects of vaccine and nutrition. This is why strengthening your immune system is so, so important. Your immune system is made up of your own personal, personal army of soldiers. I would like to call my antibodies as army of soldiers because our body is so unique and it's so brilliant in its own way. We do not have to sugarcoat our body. We don't have to pamper our body. It has its own mind and it knows what is it doing. All we have to do is act as a support mechanism system for our body. They protect your body by identifying anything that's foreign from a virus to a bacteria to a parasite and then seeking it out and destroying it. Our bodies depend on proper nutrients and a healthy lifestyle to keep our defense strong. So. Now we know the step of why our body is important. Now let's look at what is disturbing our body. Now this is our enemy. Um, previous webinar, I have actually went much in detail about um, COVID-19 coronavirus. How does a coronavirus look like? What does it shape? What is the, the, the protein layer? I have gone very scientific on that. However, latest update that's happening now, especially in Malaysia, uh, this has been said by our Science and Technology Innovation Ministry, uh, Kairi Jamaluddin. He has revealed that there's three mutated strains of coronavirus that cause COVID-19 to exist in Malaysia. So apparently, we are not only a multiracial country, we are also having different multi types of COVID-19. And we need to look at this newly developed mutated COVID-19 because it's no longer the original generic uh, composition of the virus. It has actually mutated to three different strands. So the first one is uh, type A. This is the closely related to the virus found in bats and pangolins. Uh, pangolins are actually the anteater, the scaly anteater. Uh, consider root of the outbreak and it's present in Wuhan. Uh, strain B is separated by two mutations from A caused by majority of infection in Wuhan patients in East Asia. And we have strain C, 
which is the daughter of type B. Sources of majority from European infection possibly spread via um, Singapore since there were um, originally this was like a world um, organization. They had a world meeting and all that. So that that is how European got mixed up with the Singapore and type C is formed. So this is the three types of uh, mutated COVID-19 that's happening now. Okay. Uh, this is another interesting fact that I found from uh, KKM, Kementerian Kesehatan Malaysia. Uh, apparently, a more aggressive mutation of the COVID-19 virus is believed to be the cause for higher infection rate of cases linked to patient 26. Patient 26, who was in Shanghai, in China, in the middle of January, started to develop symptoms of um, fever and all that on, on by February 27. And by February 29, he was tested positive for COVID-19 and was immediately warded at Sungai Buloh. Uh, when they, what happens is that IMR took a sample and, and observed under microscope, and they found this mutation has made the virus more aggressive, and it has spread and infected about easily average 120 people. The new coronavirus is an RNA virus, a collection of genetic material packed inside a protein shell. If um, you guys uh, pay attention to my previous webinar, I did went in depth of what is the protein shell and what is the macronucleus that's inside it. Um, but however, they did observe that the characteristic and the trait of the original strain and its mutation are not much of a difference, but it is still aggressive. You need to take importance of the word aggressive. Do not take lightly of the word aggressive because there is chance that we are dealing with something that has been amplified, has become even stronger now. So it's very important to pay attention on the next important steps and how DXN products can help you overcome this. Okay, now we going. I'm going to go about a previous webinar. I explained about how this uh, coronavirus looks like, and now I'm going to explain about how does uh, COVID-19 affect you. All right. So this is uh, this is the lung. This is the lung picture and. In the lung, we have trachea, we have bronchus, and we have alveoli. So this is an alveoli, it's an alveolus, they call it alveoli, it's multiple, alveolus is single. So uh, what happens in an uh, alveolus? Uh, it is a sac of air, it is wrapped with capillaries where the exchange of carbon dioxide and oxygen happens. So we have this type one uh, alveolar cell. What happens here is that this is where the oxygen passes right through. And we have type 2, which is the secret surfactant. It's a substance that lines the alveolus and prevents it from collapsing. So this is kind of like a membrane where it holds it together. Now, this is a picture of a very healthy and very happy alveolar cell. Now, when we have our enemy coming and disturbing our healthy environment, this is where viral infection takes place. The virus which has been given an official name, SARS-CoV-2, enters the body, generally is through the mouth and the nose. From there, the virus makes its way down to the air sac, which is here, our alveolus. And once in the alveoli, the virus uses its distinctive spike proteins. It has this spike thing you can see here. So it has the spike proteins to hijack the cells. The primary genetic programming of any virus is to make copies of itself. And COVID-19 is the same. There is no exception. COVID-19 um, almost has a lot of similarities with many lung-related viruses. And once the virus RNA has entered into the cell, a new copies are made and the cell is killed in the process, releasing new viruses to infect neighboring cells in the alveolus. Now, when the moment we have coronavirus attacking our alveolus, what happens after that? This is where our body will realize, oh, this is the foreign material. Something is not right. Things has to be done. Release our soldiers. Remember, our army of soldiers as an immune response. So the process of hijacking cells to produce causes inflammation in the lungs. When the moment we have inflammation, this triggers an immune response. As this process unfolds, fluid begins to accumulate in the alveolus. 
causing dry cough and making breathing difficulties. Because why? As I explained, alveolus is where the um, oxygen and carbon dioxide exchange. Now, if I have this fluid building up, you will have constriction, you will have restriction in your breathing. This is where people develop cough. Why we cough? Cough is actually a mechanism, a, a sensitivity to tell us that there's something blocking, so the body is sending a signal via cough. So apparently thinking that when you cough, you might actually remove the phlegm and it will clear the space. So this is why cough happens. And when the fluid accumulates, it causes a blockage, and this is a sign of an inflammatory signal. For 80 to 85 percent of people infected by COVID-19, these symptoms will run their course as much as they would with the case of flu. Okay. Now, this is only a moderate situation. What if we go to a severe situation? Severe is like basically a full blockage. In this situation, at least 15 to 20% of cases, the immune system response to inflammation in the lung can cause what known as the infamous cytokine storm. What is that? This is a runaway response. This is like, like this is it we unable the armies realize that okay now i can't just release one by one of antibodies it's not working it's getting stronger now we have to like take it by storm pump in the immune response and try to tackle it as as aggressive as they can so now we have the virus being aggressive and we have our immune system getting aggressive so it's like it's like a big um war zone happening and all this is happening in our lung cells itself so um when this can cause more damage to the body own cells than to the virus it's trying to defeat. And it's thought to be the main reason why the condition of young, otherwise healthy individuals can rapidly detroit. If enough, if once this protein rich fluid accumulates, the alveoli tend to be, um, it, it has the intention to get collapsed. And when that happens, this is where a patient is to be placed on the ventilator. In, in ICU, when you see them with the breeding assistant, the breeding equipment, this means that they are having um, acute respiratory distress syndrome, or ARDS, and a high altitude pulmonary is fluid retention, fluid accumulation in your lung region. And at this stage, the cervectin that helps keep our life from collapsing has been diluted. As you can see, the fluid has been built up. This fluid, protein-rich fluid, it contains cellular debris, is impairing. It causes the blockage of the gas exchange that supplies oxygen to our bloodstream. In the most severe cases, systemic inflammatory response syndrome, SIRS, occurs as the protein-rich fluid from the lungs enter the bloodstream. Now we have an even more um, acute condition when it enters the bloodstream this is where our whole body our whole blood secretion will enter into something called septic shock and this leads to multiple organ failure and that because why um, i would say our blood circulation is like our highway we need to make sure the highway is completely clean and smooth for people to travel Let's say we, we just put a massive accident. You can expect hours, hours of um, traffic jam. Same concept. When there is a um, protein-rich fluid pass through our blood circulation and create blockage, we don't have any more supply going to your organs. This is where one by one of the organs will start to shut down. And this often is one of the reason cause of death for people who have succumbed to COVID-19 infection. Okay. So I hope you guys understand how does the COVID-19 affects when it comes to attacking in our lungs. Okay. Now, in my previous webinar, I have went through the five key steps into the five key step into entering a healthier lifestyle choices. Um, I have went through uh, all these five steps, and I won't be going through all the five steps. Uh, Predictly, because I want to explain more on how to um, have a proper immune system using food base. Uh, but I'll go through. Number one was uh, stay active and hydrate. As I said, it was exercising and make sure you drink plenty of water. 
Number two is stay on top of stress. We need to be always in a right frame in mind. Get enough of sleep. We have to have at least seven to eight hours of solid, solid sleep. And the fourth one is watch your diet. That is the one that I'm going to go into. And let's go. Okay, so now. Why did I say watch your diet? Because why? What we eat is what our organs eat. This is why we need to make sure we are giving the right nutrients, the right key ingredients to our body, to our cologne system, so that the cologne system can now give to all our other organs and so that our other organs will be all pumped up and all energized and all stocked up. So this is why Watch your diet is literally watch your diet. 80% of our immune system is in the gut. They have a saying that trust your gut. This is where it implies you need to trust your gut. Here's why 80% of the immune system depends on the gut. When it's healthy, we tend to be able to fight off infection faster and better. When it's not, what happens? What happened when we are not bothered about our gut? Because why are ah, the gut? It is part of our system. We just need to eat and it will handle. That's not the case. Like I said in the beginning, we are the support system. We need to keep on support our body. We need to keep on support our human system. So when you do not support, when it's not what it is, our immune system is weaker and most susceptible to fighting of infection. Now you have make it so weak and so vulnerable, it's unable to fight any infection. That is not what we want. So um, basically, in general, we recommend that people focus on Mediterranean style of eating. Uh, what does it mean by Mediterranean style of eating? It means a diet rich in fruits, vegetable, whole grains and a healthy fats. I will explain to you what is healthy fats because a lot of people think that, oh, this is fattening, this is fats, I do not want to eat it. But hey guys, our body need fats, but you must make sure it's healthy fats. I do not want you guys to go and say, oh, I need to eat this um, Kentucky Fried Chicken, it's fat, because somebody say that we need fats. No, that is an unhealthy deep fry. We, we do not know what kind of oil they use. I'm speaking about healthy fats. If you guys do not know what is healthy fats, stay tuned. I'm going to come to that. Okay. So we also found in food as the fatty fish, nuts, olive oil, um, whole grains. This is very good. This eating pattern is high in nutrients such as vitamin C, zinc, and other antioxidants. Always remember, guys, we need vitamin C, we need zinc, we need antioxidant, and we need also, um, we have this omega-369. We need all this type of nutrients as a booster for our immune system and to reduce inflammation and fight the infection. At the end of the day, this is what we want. We want our body, we want our army of soldiers to be well equipped for the future storm that is going to come or that is already happening to us right now. So small increases happens in a disease fighting cells such as t cell how did this happen according to 2018 study published in the journal frontier of physiology it is also important to limit meat i know guys it's a terrible idea i know a lot of people of you guys will be saying oh no i can't limit meat i can't live without meat but unfortunately guys this is not a time to be choosy this is the time to be an amazing supportive system to our body um, so guys, process and fried food, big no-no, okay? Because all these are more inflammatory. And generally, I would recommend a whole diet food. You need to be complete on your proper nutrients weight. What's more, here's the tip. It's also good to include fermented food. What is fermented food like yogurt, uh, miso, these kind of things in your daily diet? Because this have probiotic which is the good and happy bacteria in your gut which in turn supports a healthy gut and a stronger immune system now um, apart from watching your diet we go a bit more in depth 
I would say uh, I will be mentioning a few things that you could actually add to your daily routines. Eat more whole plant food. Whole plant food like fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, legumes are all rich, like very, very rich in nutrients and antioxidants that may give you an upper hand against harmful pathogens. See guys, at the end of the day, do not think that it's, it's a difficult thing to achieve a better and a stronger immune system. All these things that I'm mentioning is extremely basic. It's just that I, 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 blame, I, I blame the people, the generations of us and the future generations of us. We tend to be ignorant. We tend to forget the basicity of life. See, whatever I mentioned, like carrots, garlic, lemon, tomatoes, walnuts, black grapes, broccoli, you guys have, have heard about this so many times we we all have went through where our mom forces and shoved food and vegetables and fruits in our mouth when we were so stubborn and spoiled uh, but we choose to not take this seriously but guys again i'm repeating the basic necessity of life the basic necessity of food is what going to help us in our current situation so um this antioxidants this is example of the basic antioxidants, which you guys can have this anywhere. You can go to a giant, you can go to Tesco. Please go tomorrow morning, get your car, put your mask, put your gloves, and head to the nearest supermarket and get all these antioxidants, these big juicy antioxidants, which will help decrease inflammation. How does it decrease inflammation? By combating unstable compound called free radicals which can cause inflammation when they build up in your body in high level, which is why we need antioxidant to make sure everything is stable. And chronic inflammation, do not lead to chronic inflammation. This links to numerous health conditions, including heart disease, Alzheimer, and certain types of cancer. So guys, increase your antioxidant type of food, okay? Now, next one. Here we come to the healthy fat story. Like I explained, um, earlier these are the types of healthy fats see i bet you didn't know chia seeds coconut oil almond butter walnuts all this has healthy fats and this is a very um, controversy topic our beautiful and our hero coconut i have a lot of my patients who come to me and said hey, you can't say the coconut is not good people say the coconut can cause cholesterol to go high can cause heart uh, heart blockage they tell me i would say do not blame the food. Do not blame coconut. Who said coconut is the problem? In this entire world, do not blame the food. Blame your system. Blame what a poor coping mechanism, what a poor supportive system you are in providing your body unable to handle how coconut should work. I tell you guys, this is not yesterday or tomorrow's story. This is back to our ancestral where coconut is an amazing top of the notch golden product let me give you an example why people say that coconut um, gives you increase in cholesterol level here you go coconut what happens we use coconut for especially we asians we intend to boil the coconut we put santan they call it so we put in our curries we make lemang and all this thing and and what happens the coconut will start to boil Here's the thing, the coconut by itself, the raw material is an amazing product. But what happens when you boil the coconut? When you see coconut, if it is coconut oil or you made it coconut milk, when you start boiling, when you see all the boy boy, that means it has now turned to poison. Coconut has now become 100% saturated fats. Now that is what the danger is. So who do we blame? Is it the coconut or is it how we cook the coconut? It's, it's us. We are to be blamed. Don't blame the coconut, guys. Coconut is very harm, is very um, savior, and it's not harmful to you at all. Do not make coconut your enemy. This is why people like um, in India, when they make chutney or even uh, Kerala, a city, a state in India, they make their curries. They only will apply coconut milk towards the end of the cooking when they have low flame. This is this means they do not overboil the coconut milk. Same thing with uh, like another dish called chutney. They use a low flame and they just saute it. 
this is how you make sure that those coconut contains do not overboil and turn into saturated fats. So guys, I hope you're clear. Coconut is not the enemy. So guys, start taking coconut oil. And follow through the site. I will show you how DXN has the best coconut oil ever. Okay? Now, enough of uh, talking about big hero coconut oil. Let's talk about um, olive oil. Now, um, olive oil is highly anti-inflammatory is linked to many types of um, prevention kit. It helps by having an anti-inflammatory pr properties, will help your body fight off harmful disease causing bacteria and virus. We also have omega-3 fatty acids, such as those in salmon, chia seeds, which also fight inflammation. Now, here you guys, this is only omega-3. Amazingly, DXN has omega-3, omega-6, omega-9. This is triple times far more effective than what is in the salmon. Yes, you guys, those who are DXN members will know what I'm saying about omega-369. Those who are new, stay tuned to see what is the amazing product of DXN, which has all the three omegas. Okay, this is a, a very, very proud moment for uh, we DXN members and me as a scientist to have this wonderful opportunity to introduce uh, my guru, Dr. Siva Kumaran's first paper, published proudly as a topic for carnotherapy and holistic human system in the pathway of holistic health for immediate relief of for COVID-19. Uh, thanks to him and our founder, DXN, Dato Dr. Lim Saujir, he they both have actually combined. Uh, they, these two gentlemen has the the most fantastic brains, and all of us can learn so many unlimited things from these two wonderful gentlemen. And uh, I have picked actually uh, three of the catchy phrase that uh, Dr. Sia Kumaran have actually wrote. Um, a combination of gynotherapy and a knowledge of holistic human system enhances the alternative medicine era into battling these chronic cases and create a powerful immune system to protect against it. This is what I like. See, it's it's not about only, only certain things will work. You only have to do one thing to work. It's not that. At the end, we can do a combination therapy. We can do integrated. Because at the end, we only want to achieve one thing, to boost our immune system, to prevent from coronavirus from attacking our system. So by combining gynotherapy and the knowledge of how our body works, we have the battleground on our hand. And now, to knock down the virus, this is the basic thing that a lot of people fail to understand. To knock down the virus, we need to improve the immunity function of the body, not to find cure for the diseases. Here, you guys, we are not here to find any cure. We are not here to, to pick on any illness, but we want to make sure it does not even come to that stage. Why are we need to be sulk, sulking when things has already happened? Why can't we just prepare it for not to happen? Wouldn't that be a much more happy scenario than waiting for it to happen and then have all the guilt, all the um, negativity and all the frustration afterwards? Why not we get rid of all the drama and just boost our immune system? This is a very powerful word. We have to work backwards, prepare the system to fight the disease not to find the cure for the disease. Do not wait for things to get worse and then, oh no, we need to find this, we need to do that, we need to do this, this. No. We need to go one step, no. Two step, no. Even it costs you 20 steps backwards, we need to do it. Because again, prevention is better than cure. And please guys, definitely go for a read. It's a wonderful reading and it's extremely complete with uh, also mentioning about DXM products. And I have read the reference here. There's a link here. Please go through this paper. And uh, it's just a start of having gynotherapy as a helping tool for us to boost our immune system. OK, now, as I explain about how gynotherapy can help our immune system, therefore, I can talk about, finally, our important and fun topic we can talk about B strategics about supplements. 
why supplements happen. How the supplement exists, first of all. Why? That's because people have forgot to leave the basicity of life. They have started to be so into work, um, eating too fast, poor eating habits, poor, eat, poor lifestyle. All this has contributed of poor nutrition levels. When that happens, people do not have the time to cook at home. Well, now you do. Since we have MCO, now everybody is being a, a, a chef, which is a very good thing. I hope you guys are cooking the correct and healthy food and not the food which has high um, acidity level. When you are not being able to cope with the proper nutrients, this is where supplements come to the rescue. Now, there is multi-billion dollar um, marketing going on about so many supplements and I can't be the judge for every supplement in the world however I can be a wonderful judge a consumer and a biggest cheerleader for DXN supplements because why I've been a DXN a consumer for the past two years now going to be two years and it has nothing but a positive impact I've never seen a wonderful supplements like this so this is why we need to be strategic about our supplements. And the beauty of this supplement, which is called DXN Roselle Juice, uh, it is a very, very beautiful product to treatment for the common cold. Why? Because Roselle consists of vitamin C, which helps to enhance the immune system of our body, protect us from cold and coughs. Apart from that, it facilitates in the absorption of iron this strengthens the body resistance. When you increase your iron intake, your red blood cell gets pumping up. So when that happens, your body resistance to infection increases. It strengthens it. It also fights against viruses. Prevent constipation. You won't, you won't believe that Roselle not only boosts our immune system, it also prevents constipation. Why am I talking about constipation? Because like previously I say, 80% of our immune system depends on our gut. So we need to make sure all this waste material, waste products, toxins are out from our gut. This is why Roselle juice not only provides an aid for vitamin C for our immune booster, it also makes sure all our waste product, all our toxins are out as how it should be. And how does it help in that way it contains magnesium now magnesium is a supplement known as a natural uh, laxative okay how does it do is that uh, the laxative property of this vitamin help to relax the intestinal muscle which means now your bowel movement your peristalsis movement in your gut will move faster and effectively and smoothly so when that happens we have a smooth rhythm while passing a bowel there's nothing much more relief than having a wonderful journey in our removing base material section so rosal juice helps with that um, according to the book of healing herbertis contains significant beneficial substance like i have mentioned anti-inflammatory and mild antibacterial properties it also has a cooling effect so it will reduce the discomfort of fever because why when people have common cold they intend to have fever so rosal juice has a cooling effect towards it as well now rosal juice is often used as a supplement to help treat cough and cold and apart from its cooling effect it also includes uh, contains significant amount of ascorbic acid which made of following nutritions. Rosal has so many nutritions. It has protein, it has fat, fiber, calcium, phosphorus, iron, carotene. I can go on, you know, but given all that, it can be said Rosal can serve as an excellent food supplement and aid to boost your body immune system. See, guys, will you rather take so many supplements which have like okay this is a supplement for vitamin c this is a supplement for vitamin d this is your supplement for your iron or you just want to take rosal juice which tastes phenomenal it is so sweet and it's so refreshing and it contains everything 
everything that a perfect ingredient has to boost our immune system. I'm sure any sane person will just say, hey, I just need to drink rosal juice and I'm all pumped up. Now, I wish it could be that easy. Yes, it is. You have been do you will do a great deal if you take rosal juice alone. However, let's make sure our army of soldiers is well equipped, don't we? So we off to go to our next beautiful product of DXN Black Cumin Plus. Now, let's go back to my previous statement. Remember I say omega-3, 6, and 9. Now, who has this? DXN Black Cumin Plus. Black Cumin has omega-3, omega-6, and omega-9. It is omega -t, okay? So this seeds contain a powerful antimicrobial and antibacterial agent which kill bacteria on contact. Now, this is an army that do not need any introduction or no question asked. It sees any foreign material, it immediately groups up our antibody, boosts our immune system, and here we go to attack our uh, foreign material. Um, black cumin has definitely revealed antiviral properties against uh, lung-related viruses. It is also uh, was clinically proven and was tested in a mice uh, to attack for cytomegalovirus CMV. Now, how does black cumin, what is the mechanism of action? How does the black cumin work in our system? Well, it improves the ability of our macrophages, which is one of our uh, natural defense mechanism to destroy invaders. Black seed extract increase our natural killer cell. This is all different types of our army of soldiers. Do not think we only have one type of army soldiers. We have like a million types of army soldiers which are there to help our system. Now, natural killer cell cytotoxic to abnormal cell. This is how it increases and help to attack and kill off abnormal cells. Black human seed was also able to increase the secretion of IL-3 from our lymphocytes. This is also another type of antibodies. Now, the nasal inflammation. This is another important thing that one of the symptoms of coronavirus happen, nasal inflammation. Black seed oil shows promise in the treatment of allergies. In a 2011 study published in the American Journal of Otolongology, for instance, black cumin seeds was found to reduce the presence of nasal congestion and itching, runny nose, and sneezing after two weeks. See guys, at the end of the day, when you have something like sneezing or cough or what, do know, do know that those are only symptoms. Symptoms that something is going on in our body. So when I mentioned that black cumin seed is found to reduce the presence of nasal congestion or runny nose or itchiness, sneezing, Black cumin is not killing off the symptoms, but black cumin is boosting our immune system. When our immune system is boosted up, therefore our body do not need to release any symptoms. Why? Because black cumin is solving the problem. It is boosting our immune system. Our body is feeling better. Therefore, it doesn't need to show the symptoms. So do not tackle the symptoms, but tackle the core problem, which is our immune system. And that will automatically remove the symptoms because our body will be in a happy land again. Okay, now, um, this study at the end of the day concluded that it has black human seeds as a therapeutic potential in the treatment of the condition due to its anti-inflammatory symptom, antioxidant, antihistaminic, immune modulator, antimicrobial, and analgesic effect. Now, this is a beautiful, beautiful product. Um, here guys, this is another thing. Um, black cumin seed is also being called Albata Sauda and um, it's also been stated in the Almighty Al-Quran book that Albata Sauda cures everything except death. Now that is a powerful line that shows the capability of black cumin plus. Now black cumin is also a wonderful product for our liver. Now, you might ask me, uh, why liver? What liver got to do with immune system? Well, guys, fortunately, we have so many organs helping us, and one of it is the liver. The liver is a key frontline immune tissue. Who would have known? Everybody thought, ah, the liver, I don't need to worry about it. We just need to make sure our lung is clean, our symptoms is not there. 
so we need just to make sure that everything is fine now the liver is a key frontline immune tissue ideally positioned to detect pathogen entering the body via the gut the liver appears in design to detect capture clear bacteria viruses and macromolecules this is the balance between immunity and tolerance is essential to liver function always remember guys happy liver happy immune system this is a perfect combination of liver and immune system collaboration now after our next beautiful product which is known as androgy king of bitter those who have uh, i have actually forcefully taste androgy will say that it is proven that it is king of bitters it is extremely bitter and um, it also has uh, a ancestor it's for generation that androgy has been known a study uh, that is over i think we can go up to dated well way back of how and how much the beneficial of androgy as a preventive for the common cold there's a lot of study that shows that androgy will increase the body resistance to infection by how by stimulating the production of antibodies and macrophages large white blood cells that scavenge the foreign material in a three month trial involving 107 students 54 of them took at least 100 milligrams of androgy twice daily and the remaining was given a placebo what happens only this out of 54 students 16 students experienced a sign of cold compared to the 33 placebo effect this shows that androgy will able to tackle and prevent from having any sign of cold how does it do it contains a rare plant chemical now we're going to go to the mechanism of androgy how does androgy works you say it contains a rare plant chemical called andrographolite which has been found to significantly boost the concentration of certain fighting cell called cytotoxin t lymphocyte these lymphocytes circulate in your bloodstream and attack so this is the army which is hanging around and going around it will attack any abnormal cell that they encounter and androgy is has the ability to stimulate these armies it means your body will become even more rigid it's like you have fat nicely you have given all the proper nutrients to this army now all this army has become very strong and very tough looking and becomes better to protect against the disease now coming to our favorite i mean not our i would say my personal favorite i would drink lemon z every day all the time for the rest of my life because lemon z is not only super duper extremely disease uh, delicious it is a boosting immune system who would have known that by drinking lemon juice you are boosting your immune system at the same time how fun is to boost our immune system um, how does it do? It increases our metabolism and our stamina. It helps in flushing out toxins. If you guys notice, those who have been uh, consuming lemon Z, you will notice that you intend to go urine a lot after that. Why? Because lemon Z actually helps to flush out your toxins. Always remember, guys, it's not about boosting your immune system only. We also have to make sure we flush out our toxins. There's no point keep on adding, 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 adding all this immune booster, but no waste material is going out of the system. We need to be balanced like yin and yang. So what comes in, also some things must go out. So lemon Z actually helps massively for that. And how does it help? It has lemon, which helps to strengthen your immune system. It cleanses your stomach, and it's also considered as a blood purifier. Um, of course, everybody know the benefits of lemon. It has vitamin C, B6, A, E, uh, at least you can guys see the list goes on. That is how beneficial lemon Z or lemon is. Um, lemon is also contains flavonoids, which is a very important antioxidant uh, material. It helps secure problem related to indigestion and constipation as well. Uh, how you guys can consume lemon Z is that I would recommend 
taking a 500 ml water bottle and opening one packet of lemon z make sure you shake nicely another tip guys it is very important or more effective to consume lemon z right after you do your workout why because when you have done your workout it no need, i'm not asking you to to carry weights or do like a marathon or what no this are light 30 minutes exercise a very fast paced exercise get your body pumping get your heart pumping all your trillion cells are now awoken you have wake up the cells so your metabolism and your stamina is is all geared up now when you drink the lemon z you actually makes your body more adaptable and you have made lemon z more effective in absorbing the and removing the flush of toxins and also boosting up our immune system building our immune system by having a higher metabolism and a higher stamina rate so guys 500 ml water bottle mix one packet of lemon z shake nicely after your workout drink it gradually most important do not gulp it make sure you mix with your saliva as our first step of digestion and you can consume and finish your lemon z guys a must try lemon z now we have come to our king of the excellent product the ever so talented the ever so brilliant 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 rggl ganocilium rishi gano gano derma this is what gano therapy is all about i would say and you guys can see there's two different things there's one gl and there's one rg let me tell you guys you do not want to separate these two these two is like siamese twins they work as pair um in a layman's language i would say rg is like a floor pine cleaner it's it's like a floor pine cleaner and gl is the mop we will use the gl to mop using the pine cleaner this is how both of them combine and work together for a true up cleaning and rebalancing of the system so now guys the extent has actually given you the benefit of getting all the proper nutrients flushing out toxins and now we have cleaning and rebalancing of the system how complete or how more complete can you guys get and rggl it is far more superior to any detox means available this i far i far more can can say in a, a point blank that this is a far more superior method to detox your system this mushroom is one of the most studied mushroom on the earth on this planet and has been researched for so many years you guys can just type on google since everything is on google now go for a go for a run just type ganoderma ganoderma lucidium is the generic name google it and have a wonderful reading of i think there's thousands of research papers and one of it is our own very own holistic doctor dr shiva kumar paper is extremely complete explaining point by point core by core of how rggl work, works and what does it contains so um it has more than 154 types of antioxidant contains beta glucan lanthanum organic germanium synergized together and what do you get you get the best weapon and this helps your body at a protecting cell and destroying abnormal cell now reishi mushroom boosts immune vitality reishi mushroom is also well known to an ancient chinese practitioners for their wide array of life and giving properties today's science reveal that this mushroom contains myriad bioactive molecules many of which help to boost our immune system um how does it do is that we have our polyphenols flavonoids beta glucan and lanthanum which is found in reishi helps to stimulate the immune system boosting the health to fight against infection cold and flu not a big deal reishi helps prevent the cold why do you have to wait till the cold and flu happens then you start running and to find the best rg in the exam no reishi helps prevent the cold and flu how is due to the synergy of compound greatly improving our defenses reishi's anti-inflammatory properties allow trypanoids and germanium to relax the muscle that support our bronchial tubes see people might think that 
oh, okay, I'm just going to consume RGGL. Uh, it's going to boost my immune system and uh, prevention is done. No, not only that, guys. It also helps to the muscle that supports our bronchioles. So when that happens, removing phlegm, removing chesticle flu, everything will be much more adaptable and much more easier to happen. I would say definitely I agree with this statement here. Rishi extract are proving to be a virtual pharmacy in a single supplement. This is a virtual pharmacy. Every RGGL is a complete set, one that can favorable affect your health across a broad spectrum of condition. Now, definitely, definitely a big, big shout out to strengthen and balance your immune system, prevent infection, give a definite strong consideration to adding reishi mushroom extract to your current supplement regime and the best extract has to be from dxn because it's the purest another thing guys if you guys do not if you have any doubt oh is dxn making the right product what about the quality very simple dxn has a wonderful warm welcome to their farm in uh, jitra and kada dxn farm any of your members can just join get your sponsors Go for a trip to um, the farm. Once this MCO thing is lifted and it's safe to travel, of course, go look for a farm. Go and see for yourself how wonderfully it's grown, how happily all the mushrooms are. Because I know I had I had a fun time there too. Now, um, this is another thing that I have actually uh, gathered up from from a relative of mine. This recipe is actually. Um, is collaboration with um, the Isha Foundation that I went through in Coimbatore. Um, you guys can do this as well. Uh, one of the ingredients is that we use turmeric powder. You guys should take note of this. This is a very good uh, immune booster ball recipe that everybody should try. I would highly recommend this as well. At the end, we are all just making sure our immune system is boosted up. So we need turmeric powder, neem powder, black pepper powder, moringa powder, and our very own DXN virgin coconut oil. Now, here you think, guys. Do not think that our virgin coconut oil is oh, it's uh, ordinary coconut oil. I can take some other coconut oil. No. What makes our virgin coconut oil different is our virgin coconut oil not only contains coconut oil, obviously, but it also contains probiotics, the good happy bacteria, and... Ganoderma. How more effective can you get when that king of herb contains in our virgin coconut oil? I would say win, 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 jackpot. So you guys can include all these um, ingredients, make into a ball like. See, like instance for this picture, uh, this is how the ball should be. You can make a few of them and just put in an airtight Tupperware and you can keep it in the fridge. Um, every day, first thing in the morning, empty stomach. You can just take one or two. Uh, one is sufficient, two if you're a bit more stronger, and you can consume it, put it in Tupperware, and off on the next day, you can consume it again. Give and take at least four to six weeks of this practice in order to start boosting up our immune system. Okay, you guys can try this. It's a, it's a very effective uh, alternative method as well. So now, it's very important to stay healthy, but it's also far more important to have a strong immunity. Because why? Do not take this that, ah, I don't have any symptoms. I'm pretty sure COVID-19 is not in my system. We are all a symptomatic carrier of the virus. Because why? Some of us might show no symptoms, mild symptoms, or acute symptoms. We might be vulnerable to others who have low immune system. Guys, do not think that if you do not show any sign or any symptoms, you have now become the carrier. Those people who have lower immune system, I mean those people who unfortunately do not know about DXN or have not known about DXN, might have a low immune system. So what happens, you as a DXN member, your immune system is strong, you're like, ah, I'm okay. But you also have to think people who are low immune system, do not be a carrier. So make sure you have taken a precautions of thinking others as well. Now, here's the thing I want you guys to think. Uh, a very nice put in paragraph. Coronavirus was living in animals and they were fine. But when the virus had a human contact, when the virus started attacking our body, it is just doing, it is just living as how it was with animals. 
But how come we are collapsing? How come we have been affected so much when the, when the animals who have COVID-19 are perfectly fine? Those who have greater immune system will recover, but those who are not, unfortunately, will be affected. Why? Because most bacteria and viruses enter our living with us in our system now, who has been assisting our life process, are not harming us. But at one time, they could have been deadly and very harmful to us. How does these viruses now adapt to us? Because we are the hosts. In order for COVID-19 to survive in our system, they intend to mutate. Why? They know if they become aggressive, they will destroy us like how the unfortunate ones are. So this is where they will start to mutate, to be a milder progression and learn to live within our system. This is how coronavirus became comfortable in animal system. So which means one day COVID-19 will be happily living with us and it won't affect us. Guys, this is the nature of life. Now, um, I have spoken about our enemy. I have spoken about uh, five key steps. I have spoken about what are the products of DXN that will give us great helpful for our system, our immune booster, and our pre preventive measures. Now, I'm going to talk about our current pandemic situation. This is the two important questions that currently is running. First one, are we protected for life if we get infected? See, it's yes, we have taken preventions, okay? But we also must think a bit more in the front. We have done a lot of backwards. Now let me go a bit in front. What happens after we get infected? Are we now shielded? Are we now protected? That's a big question. Next question would be, coronavirus mutation could threaten the race to develop vaccine because current stage when they are developing vaccine it's a different mutations of COVID-19 and COVID-19 is mutating as we speak so how does it affect the development of vaccine now to answer these two questions are we protected for life according to, to some doctors who have done their own research that they have find a fairly high level of neutralizing antibodies in their blood these antibodies are made by the immune system they intend to coat an invading virus at specific points, blocking its ability to break into the cells. So when that happens, this antibodies which created by the response, it provides a protection against future. But for how long? According to virology studies, it only lasts for one year or two years maximum. So don't think if once you have get infected and you recover, hey, I'm all right, I don't have to worry, it's not gonna come again, no guys it will come back and hunt you if you do not have a boost up immune system okay so make sure whether you had virus or you do not have virus boost your immune system guys make sure of that for second um, question coronavirus mutation could threaten the race of uh, developing vaccine there is no doubt that vaccine when available can be effective but hey guys they are not foolproof the present situation with COVID-19 shows that we cannot just rely on vaccination to limit the impact of respiratory infection. Improving our nutrients is a very straightforward step that we can all take to help our bodies to deal with infections and limit the emergency of new or more virulent strains of viruses. We therefore strongly encourage to make sure our nutrition strategies are included in all their messaging about coping viral infection. So guys, I hope you guys are pretty clear and have certain, certain side of understanding, I hope. Uh, but do not take this lightly. I repeat, do not take this lightly. It is a challenge for every one of us to stay alive and healthy in this period. Stay healthy and strong immunity through these next six to eight months. We have responsibilities, guys. We have to live consciously and responsible for the betterment of our future. Like they say, every new day is another chance to change your life. How you do that? By staying healthy and boost our immune system with DXN.
Thank you, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. All right. Provisha is no vaccine. So the only vaccine that we have is on to protect is our immune system. So we must uh, catch up. We must boost our immune system. All right. So we go to the next session, which is, uh, okay. If you have a question for Ms. Provisha to answer, all right, you can put, you can type in the uh, question area. Uh, okay. Oh. Why is the doctor too beautiful? Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. So it's because of DXM. Yeah. <laughs> Listen to this. Uh, All right, uh, so Pavisha, are we ready for Q&A? Yes, of course. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> and then, and then uh, this idea, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's also a question. Uh, number one is, uh, from day one, COVID-19 was declared and pandemic, followed by MCO and CMCO today. We have proven the scientific paper, the SN full and rise, strengthen our immunity. Can you please debug meet MITH? Drinking a lot of pineapple skin uh, fermented with commercial sugar after hours of boiling and mixed with ginger help to fight COVID-19. So, all right. So, uh, this pineapple skin, despite being washed clean, comes from plantation. My by uh, wait wait uh, this is a statement. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, the this the the question is about about meat M I T H drinking lots of pineapple uh, skin fermented with uh, commercial sugar after hours of boiling and mixed with ginger can help to fight COVID nineteen. Uh, is it true? Okay. So um, pineapple yeah. have definitely you a lot of wonderful. Yeah. Uh, properties. Can you hear? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. So, yeah, pineapple, ginger, this too is another beautiful ingredient which has a lot of beneficial properties in boosting our immune system. However, guys, it is not about how do you consume it or when do you consume it. It's about taking it in moderation. Now, rather than um, taking from a pure pineapple, if you have um, fear of whether it's clean or how it does it look a proper fertilizer or what, guys, our very own DXN has this wonderful called Cordipine, which has pineapple juice and Cordycep. Cordycep is another beautiful fungi which has a lot of benefit to clean our lung system, hence boosting our immune system. Um, if you ask me personally, after knowing DXN, after knowing DXN product, I am no longer afraid of thinking, do I have this proper nutrients? Or if I cut this apple wood, what about the fertilizer or pineapple, for instance? By just consuming the action products, I am very much more confident and I know what I'm consuming is definitely a top notch and high quality. So um, rather than taking ginger or cutting raw pineapple, I would say just get DX and Cordipine, which will do everything for you. All you have to do is just consume and stay healthy. Yes. Yes, correct. All in the SN, all we have in the SN. All right. Uh, yeah. uh, the next question is okay. All right. Uh, can a patient suffering from water in the heart and swollen and left liver also swelling and experiencing other interesting implication will be easy target and pre for COVID 19 mutation deadly mutant? If immunity okay. continues weak, uh, weak uh, that is imminence. 
Okay, that is definitely will have its risk and you will be more risk prone for this viral infection. And it's not only you will be more have risk for COVID-19, you are also in risk for many other types of viral infection or bacterial infection because organs like our liver, our heart, our kidney, these are all important organs for our immune system. So by you having a, a fairly poorly working mechanism of these organs, definitely you will be more at risk. However, having liver enlargement or liver cirrhosis or having pulmonary edema in your heart, um, fluid build up in your heart, these are all not a, a condition where there's no turning back. We do have the Xen product, which can help restore the balance back, repair your liver cells, repair your fluid retentions in your heart. So definitely by having you are now have become prone for COVID-19, but hey, we can solve the problem as well by consuming the proper DXM products. Mm, yes, that's right. Okay. All right. Uh, the, I think the last question, all right, for, for those people, uh, is uh to have a lot of money so they can only spend effort with one product so what product you would advise okay. uh, this is a beautiful question mm -hmm. because we have to cater for everybody's need the because ev every of us is unique our lifestyle our life conditions are all unique in their own way but guys there's only one product which i keep on emphasizing it has to be the king of herb himself. So Ganoderma, we already got a paper, Ganotherapy works, you know? So I would recommend if you're unable to have a, a financial to afford the entire line, it's okay. Consuming RGGL is far more superior and it's already a very much stepping forward into making sure your immune system has been boosted. So RGGL, definite, a good and a powerful start in boosting your immune system. Yes, all right. So, which is mean is covered to detoxification and also to balance your body system. But of course, uh, more you take, it's better, right? Definitely. Okay, so don't worry. Uh, DSI has a lot of uh, health supplement products. We have a king. All king is here. Eh? Mm -hmm. Also with queen. You are Morinda, uh, Morinzi and Morinzi. Morinda. All right. Right. Uh, I think that's all for the question. So, uh, well, uh, thanks once again to Pavisha. And then uh, let us uh, heard some uh, uh, last word from Pavisha before we conclude our uh, webinar. Okay, guys. So, I... The, the main reason why I came here and I want to speak to all of you guys is for one thing. When, when I have actually found DXN through my guru, Dr. Sio Kumaran, I have realized what a wonderful company DXN is, what a wonderful line of products DXN has. And the recovery, the preventive measures throughout my two years of um, giving treatments to patients, giving treatments to people who need it, the testimony and the recovery process has been nothing but an amazing process and testimony. So I would say the sole reason why I'm here speaking to you guys is for one thing, is to make sure that our immune system is well boosted up, our lifestyle is checked, and you need to be well aware of what's going on on the current situation. So I really hope, hope, hope that uh, you guys manage to absorb um, everything. I'm not going to say even 10%. I want you to absorb 100% of what I have mentioned. And um, yeah, stay safe, stay at home, and boost your immune system. Thank you.